Hey friends, and welcome back to In the Studio with Ophelia. Today is going to be all about experimenting. So much so, I'm just so excited. This is our fancy introduction. I just want to play around with some of the things that I've gotten lately, like these new brushes that I saw. They are, um, it's Creative Mark hockey or hakey brushes um, for watercolor and um, I thought I'd play with these guys as well as a couple of new um, inks that I got. These are acrylic inks, Liquitex, it's Rubine Red and Amsterdam, it's Azo Yellow Deep. And I also wanted to play with some watercolor pencils set of 24 Saison. And what I'm most excited about, I got some stamps from Suzanne over at Rubber Dance, and I just love watching her videos, and I'll make sure to link um, her channel here. I love watching her videos, and I just love what she does with watercolor and her ink, I mean, her stamps, and I just... Every single one of these I just love because you don't necessarily have to create an image. There's just so many of them that can be used as abstract marks. And so I've got here, it's pencil marks number three. This one is mixed media marks number one. This one is pencil marks number six. And like this one and this one and all I'm just in love and then this one is pencil marks number one and again I just love that they're kind of grungy and can be used for mark making so I am going to um, get started the very last page of this sketchbook which I feel like I've been working in in forever in for forever and so Let's just get started. Now that I have everything, I don't honestly even know what I want to do first. The first thing I'm going to do is get my Aquamist spray bottle and spray my page to just make it wet so that the inks will flow. And I'm going to use this Rubine Red first and then a little bit of this Azo Yellow Deep and this two inch brush. And I'm loving that the brush does hold a lot of water. I'm gonna add a bit more of that Rubine Red just to kind of punch that color up a bit. What I'm noticing is um, because it's the last page of my sketchbook, everything wants to kind of drain down toward that um, spine area and once it's all dry I'm just going to get some of the watercolor pencils in the colors of my background and this is all still background so it honestly does not matter which colors you use. What I find and what I always tell people is if you ever want to journal something truly personal it's always great to just do it in water soluble type material like watercolor pencils or watercolor crayons and such like that. Here I'm just using um, watercolor pencils and what's beautiful is once you're done with the words and the garbage that's inside, you can just then get all the journaling out and wash it all away with water. And what I'm going to end up doing here is eventually covering it all up so no one will ever be able to see whatever it is that you said. So I've got myself some paper bits and some matte medium as well as gesso and I'm just going to start ripping paper up and the matte medium because it's wet it will um, dissolve the watercolor pencils and of course then all of whatever it is that we wrote is now going to be gone. What's most important is that you get all of that journaling out. 
um, all of the ugly can be now be on this page and it's forgotten and no one will ever see it. Um, a lot of times people are very afraid to do their journaling because they think someone else is going to come along and see their writing. And so you can always um, journal in this way and then wash it all away with water to activate those colored pencils or watercolor pencils or um, I'm just using some matte medium and um, bits of paper to glue over it which then also makes it disappear. Once I get everything kind of glued in the way that I want I am just using a little bit of gesso to go over this page and I don't want to obliterate what's underneath. I still want to be able to see um, the text and such underneath. So once I get that all dry, I'm using some acrylic paints. I've got titanium white, rose, carmine, Indian yellow, cad orange, and then turquoise. And I'm just going to end up building this background with colors that are pretty similar to what was already in the background. Once I let that dry, I'm pulling out some archival ink pads and I'm just going to play around with some of the stamps here. And what I want to do is make sure that the stamping is in the background. I don't want it to be too perfect. So I almost did not even use the printing block. Um, but then I had another idea that I would stamp with it, but then using like a scrap piece of paper to stamp off so that the ink would not be so dark so that all of this will then fade into the background. I'll let that dry up a bit and then go back over everything with more washes of acrylic paint. I just keep adding more layers of acrylic paints and then once I get that dried up I then bring in more stamps to just make it now more pronounced. Using a bit more of that ink I'm just gonna take this round brush and just add a splatters and drips and this whole entire page was honestly just to play around and experiment and goof off and have fun and I'm just taking it way too far and having a good time and just playing with my toys. using more of those stamped images just to kind of add more texture to the background. And then I'll let that dry up a bit. And I'm taking a palette knife and I'm just putting in some of that turquoise. I don't want to brush on a lot of it, but just in certain areas to add a punch. And then I'm using um, another stamp that's like the X's that I'm just going to stamp in black this time to just add more to the page.
I'm just finding that I really do love these stamps of hers and I've always loved her art anyway and when I saw these stamps and how she uses them with watercolor I just knew that I had to have them and I just love the ability to kind of just you can stamp things without actually stamping an image of sorts you can just kind of have fun with just stamping around and just playing around and I just love the grunge and the texture that it gives. So I got a little bit of black ink and just kind of evened out that one circle that didn't stamp too clear. And <laughs> now we begin just journaling and I've grabbed another color of ink. This one's turquoise and I double checked the date that I actually started this journal page like May of 2020 or 2021 and um, what was important is that throughout this entire journal I had fun or sketchbook whichever way we want to call it throughout this entire book I had fun and that's my mission whenever I get a sketchbook I don't necessarily need to finish it with like beautiful drawings or beautiful anything it's just me playing around with my material and I just wanted to document the end and so I feel as though mission accomplished when I got to the end of the book and I had a lot of fun I'm using a Posca paint pen to just kind of make the lines thicker for the end because I originally did it with um, acrylic ink and a paintbrush and I feel as though this is this is it I'm gonna get a, another um, watercolor pencil and just kind of goof off to pr make that a little bit more pronounced but then I use some ink to actually get it done but this is kind of it you guys I'm at the end of this sketchbook and I appreciate you guys being here and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.